A Warwick school and community are mourning the loss of a beloved retired principal. Sister Mary Angelus died over the weekend after contracting COVID-19. Today I had the opportunity to speak with two of her friends who say her legacy will be how she educated, treated, and cared for others. She was loved by all who knew her. Sister Mary Angelus Gabriel's kind heart and spirit changed people's lives every day. Ann Robinson is a first grade teacher at St. Peter's School in Warwick and new sister for more than 35 years. She was my bud. She was my second mother and my mentor, my principal. She taught me so much about what it is like to be someone you want to emulate, like emulating her. Yeah, she was my buddy. Sister Mary Angelus contracted COVID-19 and passed away on Saturday at Miriam Hospital at the age of 93. Her friends say she waited and welcomed this day. And she lived, I believe, her entire life for the day when she died because all of her good works, all of her loving Jesus, and that's the day she planned for. That was what her life was about. Born in Westerly, Sister Mary Angelus entered the Sisters of Mercy community in 1944, eventually becoming principal here at St. Peter's for 29 years, retiring in 2000 at the age of 74. However, she never stopped visiting up to 200 elderly and sick people, continuing her mission of helping others. She just gave Gave her love to every single person she met. She didn't care if she knew you or not. If you had a sad look on your face or nobody came to visit you, she would be take up that role. Friend Sue Stenhouse. And I think the life lesson I learned most from her is truly taking the time to make sure that people know that they matter. And she did that with everyone. It's a difficult time for all who've lost a loved one. COVID is hitting us twice. You know, first of all, with the sickness and the isolation, but it's especially cruel for those that are losing people at this time when we can't come together because grieving and mourning and also, but celebrating someone's life is a process that we need to go through. For anyone who knew Sister Mary Angelus, it will be how she celebrated life, not death, that they'll remember. There was nowhere she went that someone did not know her and thank her and tell her how much they loved her. Rest easy, sister. Heaven is going to love your smile. She truly was a beautiful person. So I met her in 1999, and so we'll miss you, sister. By the way, she taught at St. Matthew's School in Cranston for more than 10 years, too, so I know they're mourning her loss, too. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, her funeral will be private on Thursday, but Father Gagne, pastor at St. Peter's, says a mass celebrating her life will take place at a later date.